Hi YouTube, this is Joe Calton with Calton Cutlery. You can find us on the web, caltoncutlery.com. Um, today we're going to go over uh, an oil filtration or a waste oil filtration system that I just put together uh, to be able to clean waste uh, motor oil, transmission fluid, um, things like that to be able to run in my uh, my oil fired foundry and the new scrapping furnace that I built a couple of days ago. Um, you know, I, I, I looked through a whole bunch of uh, uh, videos on, on how to, to filter uh, waste motor oil, um, actually waste oil. So uh, I got a lot of videos on waste motor oil and then also on waste vegetable oil. Um, it seems like uh, most of the, the videos I saw um, included several different filters and filtering uh, the oil down to you know one micron which I believe most of the guys that were doing uh, filter setups like that were running the oil in their vehicles or making fuel out of it. Uh, my application's a little bit different you know I'm not making fuel for my vehicles I'm just uh, uh, just trying to clean the oil up so I can run it through my my, uh, my waste oil burners for the foundry and the scrapping furnace and you know if I decide to build a build another burner for something else so I don't think that I'm gonna need to filter it down near as fine as what those guys are doing so um, the guy on the oil burner channel um, he had a setup like this where he was using um, you know I think his was a 44 gallon this is a 50 gallon drum with some felt uh, across the top held in place by a uh, uh, ratchet strap just to make kind of a you know a nice funnel here so you pour the oil in here um, and then he would do that for a, as a pre-filter and then run it through his his uh, drying and circulating and uh, filtering system I think uh, with the amount of oil that I'm gonna be using or at least that I think I'm gonna be using I think um, I'm gonna be able to fill this up let it set for a couple of weeks and I'd be real surprised um, if I go through you know maybe two of these barrels a year um, my foundry the the other day I melted down uh, a half a camshaft and it was my first time melting iron um, the foundry ran for uh, about an hour or so and it took about one gallon of waste oil to do that um, the the big consumer of the oil is going to be that scrapping furnace that I built and I'll upload a video um, right before I do this one of the scrapping furnace um, it's just just the build portion uh, I didn't get any uh, footage of, of it running but that thing went through the oil like you wouldn't believe it went through like seven gallons of oil in about 15 minutes so um, I'm gonna need a lot more oil to be able to uh, to run that furnace. In fact, I need to get some more oil cleaned up so that I can shoot another video so you guys can see it running. But anyway, so so we've just all this is is a 50 or it's a 50 gallon plastic uh, drum. Can't remember where I picked it up. I cut the top out. Um, I got some bulkhead fittings from Lowe's. I believe they were about $13 a piece, and these are three quarter inch. And this has got a, a left-handed thread, so you drill a hole in the side of the barrel. Um, I think this was a inch, inch and a quarter, or inch and three eighths inch hole, and then you slip part of the fitting from inside the barrel out, and then you thread this nut on. It's a reverse thread uh, nut. Tighten it up just uh, hand tight. I did hand tight, and then a little bit more, um, like another quarter round or so. And then just got a three-quarter inch um, uh, hose bib that threads right into there. The drain valve is the same setup, only it's just a straight three-quarter inch gate valve. So when I got to thinking about this, you know, oil settles out pretty well. You know, all the solids uh, plus any moisture or anything like that. So I put the drain on the very bottom, you know, of the barrel and then put the the spigot where the oil is the the settled cleaned oil is going to come out it's about I don't know four or five inches up from the bottom when I did a leak test on it last night um, it took nine and a half gallons 
uh, I just put one gallon at a time in it and counted them. And I had the, the spigot valve open, and at the nine and a half gallon mark was when water started coming out of the spigot. So I've got nine and a half gallons worth of space in the bottom to be collecting sludge, uh, water, anything that that uh, will settle out that ends up going through the filter. Um, so it should be able to give me just nice clean oil just off of uh, you know a pre-filter and the settling. The stand is just some um, uh, bed frame rails. I had those laying around in my junk piles so I chopped them up and, and made a, a quick stand or welded it up yesterday. Uh, so this is, uh, it, it leak tested good. There was no leaks and it's going to go in service today. I'm not going to store this uh, here in the shop is just too big so I've got another place I'm gonna uh, that's indoors I'll go ahead and set this up in a in a good corner and then fill it up and then just grab a sheet of plywood um, to go across the top just so well just because I think it ought to have a piece a uh, piece of plywood over the top anyways uh, it should work out really good and uh, should be nice and easy Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.